Hello, hello and welcome. Today I've been making a cover to my the cheap uh, new <laughs> art journal book I just purchased. Um, so I just figured I'd make a cover to it. And I didn't want it too bulky and too thick. But uh, let me just say that this is not what I'm most comfortable doing. Um, I think it's easier for me making art journal spreads than these mixed media uh, works, but I'm gonna try anyway. And I'm using my black gesso. I made it myself actually. Um, and now I'm using some lace to give it some texture. Yeah. And I'm um, gluing it down with my uh, with my uh, gel medium just to get it to stick properly. Yeah. And I wanted to give it kind of a rusty effect, and I don't have any uh, colors, the rust colors or anything, so I just made them myself. And I'm trying to get it kind of rusty. And now I'm using a kind of crackly stencil with my Liquitex modeling paste for some more additional texture. And for once I'm showing how I'm cleaning my stencils. I'm often using my um, baby wipes because I'm too lazy to go downstairs and wash them. So that, that's how it is. And now I'm I'm found <laughs> I'm finding a frame that I wanted to use and I'm painting it painting it with my black gesso. God I can't keep up here. Um, uh, it's a kind of MDF frame that I received from my creative scrapbook. And now I'm painting the whole thing black again with my homemade gesso and drying it. Time to attach the frame. And I'm attaching also a metallic piece. And now I'm actually using my homemade uh, texture rusty paste of some, type, of some sort. I've just added some paints and some sand to it. Yeah, just to give it the, the structure. I love using sand. And I haven't got those fancy colors like I said so now I'm just using ordinary acrylic paints to give it kind of a rusty feel to it and I'm just winging it maybe it's too orange so but I will fix that later I'm kind of dry brushing it on a brown color I like that brown for the rust effect And I have a key I want to use also, but I want to change color to it. So I'm adding some black gesso. And I'm adding the homemade texture sandy thing also. Because I want it to look really, really rusty with a lot of mm, texture on it.
so that's why I'm adding the sandy sandy thing <laughs> the sandy thing and of course some brown for the rust paint It's hard to decide how to how I want it, but I decide that I want to paint the, the metallic thing also, give it some more strict structure, not structure, texture, and um, yeah. It's hard for me finding my English words sometimes, and I'm trying to add it with my um, medium, matte medium. But it's too thin, so then I use my other heavy gel, heavy medium, heavy gel medium. Um, I should have used my glue gun, but it's not, it's not hot, and I have no patience to wait for it to get hot. So I'm trying my my gel medium, and actually gel medium is a really good adhesive in the long run, so. I also want to add some corners to the outer corners of the of the uh, cover so I'm painting them black with my gesso and the same procedure as as before a bit of structure and uh, texture and yeah and some brown and orange colors I know it's it's hard to see what I'm doing, but it's the same as before. So I'm just adding them. This is it. I hope you liked it. Please leave a comment or like or subscribe. 